<coughs> Welcome back all you YouTube now mother lovers. This is my very last fall design for the season. Tomorrow is December and we're moving on to Christmas stuff. So enjoy! So this is going to be a full design today. We're going to start by prepping the tips using the Apre Gel X tip primer and then a coat of base coat. Of course we're going to cure the base coat because we don't want it all dribbly and gross. Um, this one, however, one of them, we're going to hold back on curing the base coat because we want to attach some glitter. Um, I always you, you bleh, bleh, bleh. it started already people my god okay so you can stick glitter to a cured sticky base coat layer however this is chunky glitter and chunky glitter works best on a really thin layer of base coat just so that you don't see all of them drip off to the side I've sped this up because this was 45 minutes worth of faffing to get this in the right spot. I'm going to cure that so it doesn't move and then I'm going to apply a tap. I'm going to reply. I am going to apply a Born Pretty Pink Nude which has glitter particles in it. Would you believe it has glitter particles in it? I believe I've used this color before on my channel because it is one of my favorite nudie nudes to use um, even though it's a pinky nude it's still a nude um, and I actually did three coats of this because I did them quite thin and it's quite sheer the color as you can see now we are top coating the effect I wanted was the glitter fading into the nude color and if you did this on a natural nail it would look divine um, keeping in the V, keeping in a V shape because it suits the rest of the set, which you're about to see now. This color, this color is outrageous. Look at it. Oh, two coats of this amazing color. Oh, it's time to e beg. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you like this color as much as you like nails please subscribe and like this video because I asked you to and I'm saying please and thank you manners are polite it's just the polite thing to do and say um, what was I doing now right nails um, so what I've done here is apply one of those finicky shit things which is a striping tape. Striping tape needs to be cut before the edges of the nail as you'll be able to see otherwise it'll just peel off through the top coat. I applied a base coat uh, over, put some chunky leaf glitters in and now this is the top coat and this will be the end of the design. It is easy, it's just a little bit of faffing because the chunky glitters like to move around. Um, and we'll have a good look at that at the end. Now I'm applying two coats of that pinky nude. That goes quite well with this set if I do say so myself. I'm marking out my guide dots to do a French V on this ballerina tip using this amazing born pretty color that I've fallen in love with. I can't remember the number, it did flash up on the screen. Maybe if I'm half professional I'll go back and write it up, but I probably won't. And I did two layers of this so that you get the true color. I am again using this prick stuff known as striping tape. This is actually not too bad. If you suck at drawing straight lines or you have the shakes a lot like I do or 
but you just can't be asked drawing straight lines and you want something that's nice and shiny that's not fucking foil because we hate transfer foil on this channel it is my nemesis um what was i saying yes if you don't want to draw and if you want something nice and shiny striping tape is a really good option what i like to do is apply a layer of base coat over the top of the striping tape before I put a layer of top coat on. The reason I do that is because base coat is super sticky and it just adheres everything a lot better. Um, so moving on to the next now while I'm blabbing about base coat. This one is kind of easy. Two coats of the amazing color and faff around with some of the big leaf glitters. Uh, what I've also done to just sort of spruce it up a bit is cut one in half and wasn't that a fuck of a job but I cut it in half and added it to the sides so that you've got some that are half on half off that makes the nail feel a bit more complete and a bit less like you've just stuck three bits of glitter on the front of it which is in fact exactly what we've done stuck three bits of glitter on the front of it um, if you'd like things really really smooth you can top buff and top again I'm just admiring that color because yeah it's kind of lovely um, in this design um, um how many times have I said um far too many in this design I am trying to get a piece of striping tape um, straight across the nail it's kind of working we had a bit of a, a bit of a chat to the old striping tape and uh, we, we worked it out eventually so I always use the silicone tool to pat it down because otherwise you end up with um, fingerprints and your base coat and that just shits me up the walls so I like to use a silicone tool and you don't want to touch product all that much everyone raves on about how you develop allergies and things like that and I believe that to be quite true I'm also using the silicone tool to pick up the pieces and glitter and faff around with them if you need to flash each piece as you go because they will tend especially big pieces will tend to sit on top of the base coat and swim around and shit you up the wall like it does to me oh here's another opportunity for e-begging please if you enjoy swearing and someone who has absolutely no idea what time of day it is please like and subscribe to my channel and here we go here is the entire set together that color is gorgeous the leaves of that glitter is gorgeous the glitter comes from dumb blonde glitters um, and it's just called Fall. Uh, the striping tape I got in the My Little My First Nail kit, so it's just a cheap and cheerful product. Thanks for watching. I just pushed a something and it made a noise, so I'm going to leave you there. Like and subscribe once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!